drummers against implied timekeeping, strange blues. About a year ago, I had posted uh, this video called Strange Blues, and I had reviewed it and noticed that there was a mistake. There was one note missing. And I want to apologize for that because I've deleted it. And I want to reshoot it because I want to really dig into this rhythm uh, and kind of give you an idea of why I'm doing it. All right? So I call it Strange Blues because of the time signature. It's in five, six, and six. Uh, the rhythm would be something like this. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Kind of like that. Now I'm going to play it in the open handed position as always, and I'm going to use a dotted uh, quarter triplet. And the Watch what I'm doing, and then I'll kind of break it down. So this is a bar of five, six, and six. I cannot count it and play it at the same time, so bear with me. You count it. Three. I ended it, the phrase on the bar of five, just so you can hear it in context. Now, you'll notice uh, I'm playing it open, so that it has so much uh, uh, space in it to allow other musicians to play, and I was lucky enough to have uh, recorded this beat, and that's why I'm sharing it with you. Uh, you can break it down the five again, I'll just do the five. One, two, three, one, two. If this is too difficult for you, just do the six pattern. space that's creative because the left hand is playing this dotted quarter and you're playing off of the remote. Now if you have a, a remote, great, but if you don't, just do it on the ride cymbal bell or any percussion you may have. So this is what I want you to experiment with. Uh, the opportunity to, to work with these type of rhythms in the open-handed position enhances your creativity. So again, the rhythm of the song, uh, five, six, and six, count. ending on the five only to give you context. You would normally not use the five, you would end on that six. But hopefully you can see what a, uh, a this type of rhythm, it, it just has breath in it and scope. I want you to learn to take notes out just as much as you've been involved with maybe putting notes in. I want you to understand by taking notes out you create space and, and all kinds of things for other musicians. And this beat came about through experimentation and I just had to reshoot it and show you. It's very complex, uh, but uh, I think it's important.
All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Um, either the YouTube, uh, uh, my channel on YouTube, I'll answer in the comments section. I'm on Twitter.com forward slash Drummers Against. Facebook.com forward slash Drummers Against Implied Timekeeping. Click like on that. And welcome everyone who's visiting. Uh, please take a take the time to just go through the catalog that I'm uh, kind of showing you how to open up open-handed position to pl uh, enhance your power, your independence, and most importantly, from a beat such as this, your creativity as a player, because you have to develop your own voice. And of course, if you like what you're seeing, subscribe, because the su your subscription is the support for me to continue, and thank you always. So this is uh, Strange Blues. Thank you for looking. And I'm just looking forward to seeing what you think of it and it, uh, how you may uh, play it as well. All right? My best to all of you. Thanks for looking in.